How's it going, everybody? Welcome back again to another episode today, man. We're going to be checking out a brand new track. This track is from uh, Richie, John Richie. You know what I'm saying? He had sent me the link to his music. He had just dropped this. So, you know, if you're watching this right now uh, and you enjoy the video, you enjoy the reaction, I want to see you guys go over to his channel, show him some love. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, man, that's what we're doing today. So we're going to check this out. This is John Ritchie, If I Knew. I also have another song from John Ritchie that I will be reacting to soon. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So just keep him, just, just, hey, let's get it, man. Let's get into this track today. And uh, we're going to go from there, all right? Yo, we on the road to 50K subscribers this year. We're about to, the grind is now beginning, so... You know what I'm saying? We're going we're gonna to really try to hustle this year and see. It's been a slow start of the year so far. I've, been, I've had a lot of things going on, edits, all, a, a bunch of stuff going on. But uh, we, we're we going to have to work these reactions into our schedule. You feel what I'm saying? I have a lot of things still booked that I need to do, but it's all good. I love being busy. You know what I mean? So without further ado, man, we're going to get right into the video today. Uh, this is Richie. Let's get it, man. I cut them off when the mood change But this time I think I'll run it like I'm your same mm. Ex-girl, she was looking for a new lane So I had to kick her out on my loop cane Hey, yeah, that's why I'm drinking for a few days That's why I didn't change when the news came Why I still go to work on a Tuesday I'm a do me, don't give a fuck what you say It's really like me, she yeah, that way Gotta pause it there real quick, bro. Let me say something. Yo, so f I, I really like the mix, man. Whoever mixed your song, this is sounding really, really good. The mix on this song is sounding super clean. Uh, the drums, the the only thing that I say is a little bit weak on it so far that I'm seeing that, those claps, but it's a different type of uh, structure beat. You know, and not everything needs that murder beat type of clap. You know what I'm saying? This has a very church choir type of uh, uh instrumentational vibe when it comes to the percussion you know and that, and that's dope it's a good thing it fits the way his vocals are layered on the track um another thing that also stands out is this artwork um you know these days people don't realize that simplicity is key you know so having a, a artwork this simple with just the name of it yo i think it, it gets the job done uh what i would suggest doing maybe try you know running some promo on your video bro uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and then just see what other random people who come across your music think about it. You know what I mean? So put like 50 bucks on a, on a YouTube promotion and promote this link, if you know what I mean. Or if you need a music video, man, if you guys didn't know, I shoot videos as well. We can link up and make something happen. Obviously, probably not right now with all this stuff going on. But, you know, we could definitely make it happen, man. You know what I'm saying? So just reach out. Let me know. So let's get back to the music. I'm enjoying my ears are enjoying this right now. Listen to those layers of vocals, man. I like that. Did you hear the reverb in that section? I love that. I love reverb. There's something about reverb. Reverb adds a very unique texture to an uh, to a to a to 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 the vocal, you know, to the vocal track. That like a lot of people tend to not like that when it's, you know, but I think it depends on the song. Some rap songs, this is more of a popish vibe. Yeah, he's rapping, but he also has, you know, some very harmonic freak harmonic, you know, textures in there that would consider it basically pop over hip hop in fact you know and you know i, I really like those reverbish you know uh densities that just overflow and just kind of just put you in a different realm a different dimension you know when you're listening to the tracks and that's that you captured that well this is very diverse in the way it's mixed every section seems to be different so far and we're not even we're only a minute into the song let's keep going let's see what it's going to sound like Stop 
chasing my dreams as a child. Yeah. Never, never stop. I took some advice I should have passed. Those roads. Boom, boom, boom. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. So I won't be coming home. Not a single country road. I get it on my own. I'll put my best foot forward, then the next up. I threw an album in the trash, cause I messed up. Six months on my ass, all the press, but now my foot on the gas, I won't let it up. Everything been changing since I got that letter. Yeah, I haven't been home woo, since that December. Yeah, in 2017, I hope that they remember. If I could go back, if I knew back then what I know right now, well, I'd probably be in Tennessee singing that loud. I'd probably be in New York hyping that crowd. Yeah, probably never start chasing my dreams as a child. If I knew back then. I would say, you know, a lot of people might say that the reverb in that section might have been slightly overdone. I would probably agree slightly. Maybe turn the reverb just a tad bit lower. I still like the texture and the sound you, uh, the engineer was going for with this record, you know, um, but maybe turn it down just a little bit. Um, you know, obviously when it comes to the lyrics of this vid, this song, it's not overly complex, but a lot of the times these days when things are overly complex, people's attention span just completely deteriorates. So you got to keep it simple, but still have those textures that can grab an audience in a different way where they can undeniably remember certain, you know, things about your song subconsciously without even thinking about it randomly. I think this song can, I can hear this playing being played on the radio type shit, you know? So John Ritchie, yeah, man, I'm going to keep bumping more. I'm going I'm to I'm look out for you, bro. Stay, stay in touch. This is, this is good. This is good. This is a good pop. This is a very good pop record. I'm working on a, a collaborative project, actually. I might need you for for a hook, bro. I, I I really like what I'm hearing right now. I think we might be able to do some something dope together. Um, you know, assuming this you're not a this isn't just the only dope song that you have. Hopefully, your your catalog is is very good. And this brings me to, back to a topic what that Russ was talking about. The reason why artists should release back to back music systematically, not just every day dropping. I mean, you do what you got to do, but there's nothing wrong with being consistent with dropping more and more music. You know what I'm saying? But because if you if you make somebody a fan and they go back and want to listen to more of your catalog and you have nothing to show think about it like you're gonna lose that fan you're gonna lose that person as a fan hands down you know what i'm saying so let's get back to it i mean you may not lose them as a fan but the chances of you losing them as a fan is very high because they only know you for one song unless that song is so good that you're just like man i'm 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 gonna, I'm gonna follow him right now we're going to see what he has to offer in the future, which, you know, that that does happen actually more often than none. But the other way is also great, too. When you are when you have a catalog set in place, you're, you're kind of setting yourself up for the future. So, you know, if you got music, man, drop your music. You know, what I'm saying? even I'm about to just just for fun, like for me, I'm a producer. So the music aspect in terms of lyrical and writing and stuff, it's not really my strong suit, but I love to do it for fun, you know, because there's certain uh, 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 vocal manipulations that I enjoy doing that, uh, you know, um, unless I have a session or even working with certain artists, they, they, they just, they may not like those ideas or they may just not be able to capture or, 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 or take those ideas that is being, uh, that I'm, that, you know, the direct, the producer is trying to transvert to the, to the subconscious or to the, to the, to their minds for them to, be able to use that and do what they need to do and make the record sound a certain way versus whatever way it would have sounded previously. So, you know, with that fact, I just like to experiment and kind of, you know, see what happens. So this collaborative project is going to be really, really dope. Um, yeah, man, uh, I'm talking about a lot of different things right now, but that's all in the future plans. Stay tuned. I'm going to keep y'all updated, man. Oh, okay. That's it. Yes, sir. Hey, that was that was that was heat. 
I like that, man. That was that was cool. Um, let me know what you guys, excuse me. Let me know what you guys thought about that record. I am the Hip Brainiac. I'll see you on the next video, man. Y'all stay safe. Take care of yourself. And uh, without further ado, yeah, peace.